What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back for another video. Today, I'm just out here in the yard. Deer season is officially over for me, so that means moving into some more daylight coyote hunting videos for you guys, hopefully. And what we're gonna do today with this video, two different things. One, just checking zero on this. Getting out on a 50 degree day in December. Can't beat that. It is a little windier than what I thought it was gonna be. It's fairly calm about an hour ago. Uh, winds up to about 12 to 14 mile an hour now at times and then number two um, One of my most popular videos is whenever I spray painted this camo job on this Ruger 243 I get lots of questions on that video about how has the paint held up and just want to give you guys Kind of a quick rundown a uh, quick update on this paint job um, And I'll move the camera in closer here a little bit, but it's awesome guys it's held up really really well that clear coat does an awesome job for you guys that uh, are maybe new to the channel or haven't seen that video at the end of the video i'll make sure and throw a card up at the top and then i'll also link it down below the the video link to the camo job on this rifle this is the the magpul stock for the ruger americans and uh, this here is the uh, ruger american predator and killed quite a few coyotes with this thing and it's just it's just an awesome budget priced rifle they're not too expensive priced right and they usually shoot pretty well so gonna check zero on this and hopefully get some more daytime coyote hunting footage for you guys and uh, what we're shooting today is the regular old Winchester Varmint X 58 grains gonna load a few of these up in the mag and uh, we'll check zero and hopefully she's still on got a fresh target down there all right guys, starting out with a fresh, clean target. A bullseye there. We're gonna go see how she shoots. No shots fired yet. This thing doesn't get a whole lot of attention uh, when coyote season's not in, so always like to, you know, just get it back out, make sure zero's still on, make sure everything's fine. You don't wanna go out to the woods, to the field, and not knowing if your rifle's still on zero or not, so. We'll get out. We're not going to shoot much just because ammo's crazy right now. Expensive and pretty scarce. Still can't find it. It is starting to get a little bit better than it was though. So that's that's exciting to see. But uh, we still got a long way to go on that aspect. But we'll get a few loaded up here and see how she does. I typically just stick to a three round group. Um, and like I've always said, I've said in many videos in the past, all we're doing here is looking for a minute of coyote. We're not uh, out to set any world records, break any group records or anything like that. So we'll get a group down range and see what she looks like. All right, that was only two there, but I can already tell you we're gonna have to make an adjustment to this. And that is the reason why we do this. This thing has been sitting in the safe for quite a while and it's shooting low. Not real sure what the reasoning is on that. Huh, that's actually surprising to me, but that's why we do this. That's why we come out, check zero make sure everything's good you always want to get out and uh, give yourself the best chances and you also want to put an ethical shot on whatever you're hunting so that's part of it we'll um, I'm gonna go down and check the target real quick I like I say I know it's low we'll make an adjustment to this and uh, hopefully we'll be good to go so let's go check out the target all 
All right, there we go. Aim in here. Got two right here next to each other, so we definitely need to come up. Not real sure why that happened, but we'll make an adjustment and get up here. I want to be just a little bit high, maybe an inch high on this. And uh, we'll go back and get her sighted in. All right, I moved it to the left just a tad bit. And now we're gonna move it up. All right, made the adjustments there and I hope this is a little bit better group here. Throw some more down range and see where she's at. That's better. All right. Well, I'm glad we did that. That was easy to make that adjustment. Let's uh, gather up this brass. There it is. All right, let's go take a look, see what that group's like. Oh yeah. That's better. That's better. Okay, first two right here. Went back, made some changes. One, two, three. Group right there all touching. That is Minute of Coyote. That is good. That's that's a solid group right there. Uh, like I said, I wanted about an inch high. We're good there. And then wind probably carried those just a tad bit. I did make a small adjustment to the left. Uh, which is reflected here, but I think the wind's carrying it just a little bit over. So that right there will kill a coyote, and we are good to go. Man, I'm glad I went out and did this. I always do it, but pretty surprising. Typically, it always stays dialed in and uh, don't lose zero. Something happened there, and we caught it before we took it out. Coyote hunting, that's the main thing. All right, give you guys a little close-up here of how the paint's holding up. Like I say, it's holding up really, really well. This rifle doesn't get used a ton, but it does get some heavy use in the winter. Paint job still doing great. Super happy with it. Quite a few other rifles painted like this. Like I mentioned earlier, I'll make sure and put a card up at the end of the paint job on this rifle and a link down in the description. Well, I'm glad we took the time to come out today and check zero on this. Got it dialed back in with no problem, but still not real sure what I did there, why I lost zero or why it was grouping where it was, but now we know and no coyotes are gonna run away injured or missed hit now so should be good to go make sure and throw some cards up here for you guys one will be the video of me uh, doing the original paint job on this and then the other one I'll throw up a video of kind of the rundown on this setup that I have here I've uh, been super happy with this killed quite a few coyotes with it always been a good shooter not real sure what happened there with the zero but that's an easy fix and that's why you check so Appreciate you guys being along. Looking forward to getting out, not only killing more coyotes, but hopefully killing some more in the daylight for you guys this year on video.
uh, self-filming coyote hunts in the daylight by yourself a little tricky but it's a lot of fun i'll get out give her hell and try to get some on footage for you guys if you guys have any questions with this setup or anything at all in general make sure and comment down below try to get back to those as soon as i can and uh as always happy hunting be safe we'll see you on the next one bye